Welcome to Byte Further. Today's video is about how to fix iPhone XR touch screen not responding to touch. First, let me briefly explain why your iPhone XR touch screen is not working and won't respond to anything like touches, taps, and swipes. There may be th possible reasons. First, the app crashes. Sometimes you are watching videos or playing games, and suddenly the apps crashed and you found your iPhone XR screen not responding to touch. You press the power button to lock it out, but you can't unlock the phone again. You press buttons to shut down but it won't turn off because your iPhone XR touch screen won't work properly to drag the power off slider. Second, the system lags. Unknown bugs or errors are common causes for iPhone XR touch screen issues, making your phone screen respond very slowly or not responding at all. Third, the update failure. Some users say that they discover their iPhone XR screen not responding to touch after the update. Fourth, your iPhone XR storage space is almost full. The final possible reason for iPhone XR touch screen problem is the broken hardware component. Your device display will become unresponsive in some areas like the top, the bottom, the keyboard, etc. after dropping or after water. Next, we'll show you how to fix iPhone XR touch screen not responding or not working. First of all, restart your phone. If you've tried it before, go ahead with the second method. Press and hold down both the side button on the right and the volume buttons at the same time for a few seconds. When you see the power off slider, release both buttons and drag it to the right to shut down your phone. A few seconds later, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo showing up. Now, just wait for your iPhone XR to reboot. The screen now should work again. What if you can't move the power off slider? Can you turn off the unresponsive iPhone XR without touch screen? Of course. You just need to turn off your iPhone XR and then turn it back on with some button presses. You won't lose your photos, messages, contacts, or other content that you've saved on your phone. Now, let's start. Quickly press the volume up button, volume down button, and press and keep holding the side button for a while. You'll see the unresponsive screen turning black and the phone turning off. Still hold the side button. When you see the Apple logo, release the button and let your phone boot up. Now, enter the passcode to unlock and your iPhone XR touch screen responds normally again. If you forgot the passcode and make your phone unavailable, see what to do here. Okay, the third iPhone XR touch screen not working fix is easy. That is to remove the screen protector and phone case. Please do that carefully. Then, use a soft and dried cloth to wipe clean the dirt, liquid, or any other items that could prevent your device touch screen from responding or working. If your iPhone XR screen still does not respond to touch even after hard reset or screen protector removal, the fourth method is to update the iOS software. This step helps clear out the hidden system lags and update failure bugs that lead to the problems with touch screen. Because of the unresponsive screen, it's hard to do iOS software update right on your phone. Instead, you'll need to put your phone into recovery mode and update the iOS with iTunes or Finder on your computer. Rest assured that the update won't delete anything on your phone. Alright, first, connect your iPhone XR to a computer. Then, open iTunes if you're using a Windows computer or a Mac with macOS 10.14 or earlier versions. If you have a Mac computer running macOS Catalina 10.15 or later, launch Finder instead. To let iTunes or Finder successfully detect your phone without entering passcode on the unresponsive touch screen, put it into recovery mode. Quickly press the volume up button, volume down button, and press and keep holding the side button for a while. The screen turns black and you'll see the Apple logo shows up. Still holding the side button. A few seconds later, you'll see a screen displaying a USB cable pointing to a computer. Let go of the button and you're in recovery mode. Just try a few times again if you can't enter it at once. Okay, go back to your computer and you should see a message popping up. To update your iPhone XR with touch screen not working problems, choose the update button. Then, do follow the steps prompted on the screen. You'll then see iTunes or Finder start downloading the most recent iOS version. It could take a while depending on your internet speed. Once down, it'll extract the iOS software, prepare your phone for the update, and finally install the downloaded iOS software into your device. If your device exits the recovery mode during the update, just repeat the steps above to enter again. After the update, your iPhone XR will restart on its own. 
unlock your phone and you should find the touch screen starts working and responding to touch again. If the update doesn't help to make your touch screen work again, reset the phone. Note that the reset will delete everything on your phone. Though, if you've backed up the content before you find iPhone XR screen unresponsive to touch, it's easy to restore them back after the reset. Now, I'll show you how to reset iPhone XR when touch screen not working. Ok, make sure your phone is still connected to the computer with iTunes or Finder running. Then, put your iPhone X into recovery mode again. Quickly press the volume up button, volume down button, and press and keep holding the side button until you see the recovery mode again. Ok, go back to your computer and a message will pop up. As we need to factory reset your phone, click the restore button. Then, it'll guide you through finishing the following steps and then bring your iPhone XR back to factory defaults. After that, your iPhone XR will go back to the hello screen and can respond to your touch now. That's all how to fix iPhone XR touch screen not working. Hope this video can help get the unresponsive screen to work again. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.